Hey guys, Harry from Seven Daddy Barbecue. In my first knife video, you probably saw some of the knives that I enjoy using, as well as some of my favorites. In this video, we're gonna show you guys how I keep my knives sharp. There are several different ways you can sharpen your knives. I'll tell you what has worked for me, what has not, and show you some of my favorite methods. There are many ways to sharpen knives and there are many kinds of knives. I wanted to kind of talk about some of the basics of uh, sharpening first. Uh, first thing you need to be aware is that uh, different knives have different steel. So for example, like in this particular knife, uh, this one has a, a Swedish steel, which is a, a pretty good steel and uh, pretty hard. Something like this, this is a, a Japanese steel uh, called VG10, which is uh, harder than this. And then we also have something like an expensive knife like this, uh, Miyabi. Uh, this one has a, a special steel called a SG2 steel, which is uh, harder than this steel. Uh, steel is measured by Rockwell rating. So depending on the hardness of the steel, the sharpening technique will vary. And as the knife gets harder and harder, it gets harder to sharpen. So it also becomes a little bit more brittle. So when you have uh, kind of expensive knives that are very, very hard, uh, you have to be kind of mindful that they may chip uh, because the edge may be a little brittle. Smaller the angle, uh, I think the sharper the knife, the downside is that if the steel isn't very good, the uh, knife edge will have a tendency to chip and then that will ruin your knife. Among the different methods uh, you can sharpen your knives, uh, it's broken up kind of into three camps. The first camp of knife sharpening devices are devices such as this. This is the Lansky system where you basically move... Uh, the uh, sharpening uh, rod through the knife using a specific uh, bracket to hold the angle. You also have uh, what I call the wicked edge uh, you know, kind of knife sharpening systems kind of like where you have a fixed uh, pivot here at a certain angle and then you kind of push your knife, uh, push your sharpening rod over the edge and then ensures an even edge. So these uh, kinds of sharpening systems have pros and cons. Number one, they are you know kind of hard to set up. Uh, I'm a kind of a process efficient and a cost efficient pit master. I'm cheap and lazy. So uh, for me to dig this stuff out and try to set it up and sharpen my knives, over time, it got to be too much work. So I've pretty much abandoned uh, these sharpening systems. Uh, I don't use them anymore, but just for illustration, I want to kind of tell you my journey because uh, I wanted to reach a very efficient stage of knife sharpening. I love sharp knives. I just don't like to spend a lot of time sharpening knives. So these kinds of uh, what I call mechanical systems, I pretty much uh, abandon. The next category are the electrics. Um, I uh, think that these are the step up because they are super convenient. You just store them in the drawer in the kitchen. You yank them out, plug them in, and you just turn them on like so. And they're ready to go. Uh, this one is a 20 degree angle, more for suitable for European uh, and American knives. We have the, this one here, which is the uh, 15 degree sharpener. This one is more suitable for the Japanese knives. Uh, I primarily use this one now. And uh, on the 20 degree one, the only uh, one I use is like I mentioned, my beater knife. Uh, my beater knife is about 20 degrees. It goes through this one. But for the rest of my knife collection, I kind of hone them all to 15 degrees because I think it cuts a lot better and uh, that's the preferred angle. And if the knife, if the edge chips because the steel is kind of not a high quality or too soft, it's okay. I just will re uh, profile the edge and it works just fine. The third category of sharpening systems is uh, whetstones. And uh, this is sort of the method that I uh, like to use now. And I'm gonna talk you through how to use uh, whetstones to sharpen knives because I think that the, the uh, final result is unparalleled. The Westones are a little finicky to use. I'll shoot a separate video, kind of talk to you, kind of my learning curve on how to use the Westones. But uh, this is my preferred method today because what I can do is I can do this really quickly, set up within like maybe 10 seconds, sharpen my knives within a minute or two, and then I'm done. So this is my preferred method, but I'll talk you through the mechanical and the uh, electric method. The other thing you need to know about knives also is uh, how to use these things called honing rods. It's not a ceramic version, a steel version. Also, there are other new inventions in the marketplace. Like this one is called a rapid steel by Frieder Dick. Uh, this is a uh, honing rod that works really well and uh, keeps your knife not only honed, but it actually sharpens it. When I'm on the road and I'm cooking a contest, this is sort of what I bring along. 
Uh, I just don't have the room to bring an electric knife sharpener or a mechanical knife sharpener or even my whetstone. So when I'm on the road, uh, this is my preferred tool to sharpen knives. It's really easy to use. All you need to do is, uh, you see these guides here, you take your knife and you run it through the guide like so. Half a dozen to 10 strokes, uh, you will have a edge that is really, really sharp. Like so, so it's pretty sharp, considering it's just a holding rod, but it, it works quite well. The other tool that uh, you, uh, you know, is useful is uh, these uh, honing rods. And uh, what happens is uh, when you have a knife edge, uh, the reason the knife edge gets blunt is not because the knife gets dull, it's because the edge has micro burrs that burr out and essentially kind of dull your knife. When you cut with a knife, over time, the knife will basically burr out like so with micro burrs. This drags on the meat. So what happens is when you push the knife through a honing rod, it pushes these burrs back in alignment and keeps your knife sharp. Uh, this is kind of a honing rod and how it works. And typically on a honing rod, a lot of people are not aware that this uh, little guard here has a dual purpose. So it actually actually serves also as the measurement angle. So if you hone your knife this way, right, on the, on the rod, this measures about a 15 to 20 degrees. So if it's a European honing rod, this is about 20 degrees. And you can also buy an add-on um, sort of a plastic piece here. So these plastic pieces are about like 15 degrees. So I prefer a 15 degree hone because I sharpen my knife to 15 degree bevel. So if you place it here like so, it will basically allow you to maintain a 15 inch, 15 degree bevel, like so. Just push it down. And then the same on this side here, like so. And it keeps it nice and sharp for you. You can also use a, a ceramic version. So between the steel and ceramic, they both work well. Process here, you you run your knife through at the proper angle, 15 degree here, and then you push it down and that will remove the burrs uh, in, in the knife. So this is kind of a way to keep your knife sharp if you don't want to use something like this. Uh, when I'm on the road, uh, this is what I use exclusively because it's so much easier to use this uh, rapid steel. And uh, these are about, I think, maybe $70 from Amazon. Moving on to electric knife sharpeners. I don't use the 20 degree one anymore. I focus my attention on the uh, 15 degree ones because I prefer to have a sharper, kind of an arrow edge on it. They use this uh, kind of electric knife sharpener, which was voted uh, the best one by uh, Cooks Illustrated. Uh, you basically have three sets of grinding wheels, uh, a one, a two, and a three. So you start at a coarse one, and you, then you move to the medium one, and then you move into the honing, uh, diamond honing, and see the white uh, discs in there, the uh, diamond honing discs. And uh, you want to drag your knife through maybe about six to six to eight seconds on each edge. Do the left edge and right edge. When, when you get do three or four strokes, move it to the middle, and then move it to the honing uh, area. You turn it on. Pretty sharp. And if you want it to be sharper, you can hone it again. Turn it back on. And then this time you run it fast. Feel the edge, it's nice and smooth, no more burrs here. And let's give the cut test here. So that's really sharp. So you can tell that it's really, really sharp. If you so happen to have a Japanese uh, Yanagi bar, which is like a sushi knife, it's beveled only on one side. So this is kind of flat and this is beveled. So in this situation here, you can still use electric knife sharpener, except you run your knife with a single bevel only on one side. So this is a right-handed Yanagi bar. So the bevel is on this side on my right hand. This is flat on my left hand. So the way you would sharpen it on electric knife sharpener is you would run this uh, basically on the left disc, right? Following the same process to uh, smooth out the, uh, the uh, burrs and then to sharpen the knife. So I'm gonna show you guys how that's done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, moving to the second stage now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the final grinding stage with the uh, white uh, diamond covered disc. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there you have it. So this is a single bevel Yinagi bar, Japanese uh, sushi knife. And I run it through uh, the three stages, about three strokes for each one. Okay, so pretty sharp. So just as a recap, uh, there are many methods to sharpen your knives. You can use a uh, mechanical method like so, uh, like one of these uh, Lansky or Wicked Edge systems. You can uh, use an electric uh, knife sharpener. And depending on the angle you like, you can buy a 20 degree angle or a 15 degree angle. Uh, whetstone, this is my favorite method. I'll, I'll do a third video and show you guys how my knives are sharpened this way. You know, it's a three hour argument. Some people say never use honing rods. Some people swear by them. Uh, I use honing rods and uh, I have these little add-on clips here. You can buy them on Amazon. This gives me the proper knife angle because I prefer my knives at 15 degrees. And then in my honing rod area, this is the device I take with me when I go on the road. It's a rapid steel because it sharpens knives really quickly. Uh, I've given you a very, very quick uh, overview of all the my favorite knife sharpening methods. Uh, every single thing I show you today is probably a three-hour argument because there are many other uh, people on the internet out there who are better professional knife sharpeners than I am. I'm a professional cook. I'm not a professional knife sharpener. So everything I told you, take it with a grain of salt. This is what has worked for me over the years. I love sharp knives, but I do not want to spend a lot of time hauling gear, cleaning up, setting up when I sharpen my knives. These are quick, quick, and dirty methods. My favorite method is still using an electric knife when I'm in a rush or if I have time. I'll sit down and use the whetstone. I'll show you guys that in the next video, okay? If you found this uh, video helpful, uh, please like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. I'll see you next time.